Good afternoon, traditional archers. Vaughn here on this 3rd of October, 2024. Welcome to another first shot of the day video. Today's shot is going to be approximately 18 yards to the black dot at the center of that yellow bag target from right here on this gorgeous South Street here. And once again, we'll be using my brown Howard Hill B5 and a 1200 grain fluke. So, thanks for coming out. I appreciate you taking the time. It looks like, I mean, somewhat decent shot. I believe my feathers just caught the last obstacle on my way down there and gave the arrow a bit of a kick. I think my feathers hit this tree. I'll have to look at the video later, but this is what we did. There's our bullseye, there's our impact. I'm gonna call that three inches. Centers are about three inches apart. Spin you around and put you on the bullseye. And let's see if I can see where we're at. Should be right down the lane here. Oh, there we go. There is the blaze orange. So that's where I was shooting from. As you can see, it is a pretty narrow corridor that I tried to shoot through. Uh, what do you guys think? I kind of like it. I kind of like that shooting lane. I like the distance. It's a, it's a distance that I uh, enjoy shooting around 18 yards. Last time I was sitting underneath this hemlock tree for you. I was shooting at that red bag target for a 15 yard shot. And when I was sitting there, after I took the shot, I had noticed this lane here. Pretty narrow, but I looked down there and I was like, hi, right, it looks like I got a pretty decent lane out to about 20 yards. And uh, so, when I decided to make today's video, I walked over there real quick. So I got about 18 yards and I just set up that target real quick and set up for the shot. And uh, that's what we got. So that was a test shot to see what, how this uh, lane would look. Um, I wasn't sure if I had the clearance with the, uh, I don't know how well you can see it, but there is a, uh, a mountain laurel that's leaning over um, kind of obscuring it. There's a couple of little saplings that are leaning over this way. Um, yeah, I thought it was, it would make an interesting shot. And, uh, the fact I got that far down there, I think it's a pretty good shot. I'm going to see if I have a, uh, a dumpster deer target I could put over there as a permanent target. What do you guys think? Is it worth it for me to set up a target for, for that spot? Might be. I mean, I already have this shot over here. And I can turn that into a 17 yard shot by moving over to this hemlock back over here. Um, and we'll see. Like I said, 
What do you guys think? You know, uh, I would love your input, you know. Keep them both. Set them both up. Keep one. I don't know. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, it's a pleasure bringing my videos to you. Uh, I'm so happy that you guys watch. <laughs> uh, anyway, until next time, keep practicing. Shoot straight. Take care.